Jane Roe and Henry Wade put this case in the national spotlight nearly 50 years ago. In fact, Jane Roe's real name was Norma, Norma McCorvey. She lived in Dallas County, Texas, and was pregnant and wanted an abortion. Her attorneys, Sarah Weddington and Linda Coffey, challenged the state's abortion laws. And when three federal judges ruled banning abortion was unconstitutional, Coffey announced women would now have more options. Here's a portion of that interview in 1970. If she can have an abortion, and assuming that she has it in Texas, uh, she need no longer suffer any kind of uh, guilt feelings. Henry Wade was a district attorney in Dallas. He was extensively involved in the Kennedy assassination investigation. As Roe v. Wade made its way through the courts, Jane Roe gave birth to her third child and gave, her up for, gave the baby up for adoption. It took three years for the case to reach the Supreme Court. And the story took an interesting turn years later. Roe eventually changed her stance on abortion and took part in the anti-abortion movement. She passed away five years ago.